Okay, then this is just going to be a quick update video on some of the recent changes to the code I've made. Um, there'll be another video coming out soon after this where I show it running, but I'm not going to show any of the code running in this video, so if that's what you're after, then probably skip this one, look out for the one later today. So, really quickly, a couple of things I've done. Um, I've added in a method of scoring items. So, I had the method of scoring items last time. But I've added in a method of using the scored items, so it's, I think this bit right here, yeah, this sort of block right here, and um, what it does is it basically takes in the list of the scored items, and then it picks a random number, and based on that random number, um, it will pick one of the scored items with like the same probability as their, their like score, so basically an uh, item with a really high score is more likely to be picked than an item with a really low score. Um, it works out really well and it's better than the way I, I did it in my previous G merger where I just picked the thing with the highest score every time. Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this, I'm pretty impressed with how this works. Now the next thing I've added is I've added like a a checker for if the offer's been updated. So you know when like uh, there's an offer in the GE and it's gradually being updated, the the progress bar fills up. Well, what this does is it'll take a screenshot of the GE slot, and then if that screenshot hasn't changed for 20 minutes, it'll abort the offer, so it'll cancel it and it'll handle that so if it was a buy it'll run this handle cancel and buy and if it was a sell it'll run handle cancel and sell now what those do is basically um, if it was cancelling a buy it then sells the items at the appropriate price if it was handling cancel and sell then it still sells the item at the appropriate price but it just finds a new sell price for it um, now, I don't actually think there's much else I've added, just these, this sort of block of code right here was unbelievably hard to code, <laughs> it took me absolutely ages to get that working, um, and I'm not certain it works perfect now, but it's definitely, it's definitely getting there. And um, what I want to add next is, instead of like this, um, I, I want to have like an alternate so this is the bit at the minute that picks the item, like based on its score. I want to have a alternate one I can call where it just picks any item that doesn't have a score because obviously I want to score every item. I have like a hundred items and at the minute only like twenty of them are scored or something. So I'd really like it for all hundred to be scored because obviously then I've got the uh, the best items in theory. Um, I've had a couple of fail saves down here, so... Oh, this is another thing I did, so the money, um, I actually read the screen for the money, I started using, like, Tessa to to read in the amount of money, but it ended up failing, it was, like, it was really buggy. Um, so for now, it's just hard-coded, but I do plan on coming back and having it read in the money, because I think that's way better. Uh, there's a couple of fail saves down here to make sure it's detected all the slots it should. Um, and if it doesn't, then it gives you a warning, you have to press enter to get through. Um, and that's probably about it, to be honest. I don't think there's much else. Now that'll be it, I think. So, main updates are, I'm picking items that are scored and I've started cancel items so that's going to be it for this video, really short but the next video is just going to be me running this um, and going through what it's doing as it's doing it so if you want to see that then keep your eye out for the next video other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video